this is Laura from Sweet Incense Candles and Soaps. Today we are doing a facial soap, kind of like an Aleppo soap, but not exactly Aleppo because I am adding jojoba oil that I got from Brambleberry. And this is the Laurelberry oil. I bought this from Be Scented. This is what Aleppo soap is made out of. Um, but since I'm making a facial soap, I thought I would add some jojoba to it just, just because it's good. So let's pour some of the, let's see, let's get this laurel berry oil in. It's kind of thick. Come on. Maybe I should shake it up. I don't know. I didn't read really shake it up, but we're going to shake it up a bit. Kind of smells like smoke. Almost there. Drop more. There. So, now I need to wipe this off. Excuse me. It's dripping. So, I am only... Um, making like 20 ounces because, well, like I said, this is kind of like a facial soap. So I didn't need a huge amount. I bought these little, um, molds off of Amazon. They got little sun and a moon, I think. I don't know. It's got little faces on them and I don't even know how much these hold. So I may, may have extra. So anyway, so this is our oils. So it's just, uh, my recipe for this is 60% olive oil, 30% of the laurel berry oil, and then 10% of the jojoba. I'm going to also add some frankincense essential oil because frankincense is just good for everything. And to these oils, I'm also going to put in a teaspoon of kale and clay. Like I said, this is not an actual Aleppo soap because an Aleppo soap is just olive oil and laurel berry soap. You can read up on that. I'm sure there's a lot of um, videos and all sorts of stuff talking about that. And you can see it actually made too on some of, you know, in Syria and some of those uh, where they make it, where it came from. So we're going to do that. And let me get my uh, lye. We'll pour that in. So hang on. Okay. This is um, very high water discount because if you've ever made any kind of Castile soap that is high in olive oil, and you know that it takes a while to trace. Although I've heard that when it has the uh, um, the laurel berry soap in it, it's actually may speed up trace a little bit. So we'll find out. So let's just get this going. some of this out because I want to add a little bit of um, activated charcoal to it just because I kind of know that that's kind of good for your skin so we'll I don't know I'm just eyeballing this now let's add just a small amount of activated charcoal to this like you know quarter of a teaspoon maybe not too much Move this over here mix this in a bit <laughs> okay so while we're at it 
This is my frankincense. Frankincense is not inexpensive, as you know. And we're only going to put in 0.5, which is even less than the light amount, but that's what we're doing. That kind of helps the fragrant, the smell of the soap a little bit. <laughs> over here okay I think we are good to go scrape all this down now I'm not sure if I want to try and do like an in the pot swirl or try and pour them separately. You know, not the most attractive colors in the world, but, oh well. It's just some. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get out another mold. I don't want to waste any of this. It's too expensive. Now, you realize that this soap has to sit for a long time, like we're talking six months to a year. That's a long time. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. Clean this up a bit. Okay. One little face. I don't know. Um, uh, I guess I'll just pour one and move it and then pour another. So let's pour these in here. Can you see? Whoa. All right, get that off of there. Let's just move this one out of the way. Bring this one over. Try to mix this in a bit. We've got some left over. So let's go find another mold. Okay, we'll just pour the rest of this in here. We'll have little short bars, maybe little squares. We will be back when I unmold. Talk to you later. Okay, and we're back. It's actually been a couple of days, simply because I got busy. Um, I'm sure that these probably would have been ready to take out in 24 hours. So that's our little face soap. It's kind of cute. These molds release really easy. I got these from Amazon.
They still, I can smell the frankincense, but I can really smell the laurel berry oil. It has almost an antiseptic smell to it. Let's pull this out. This was just the leftover soap that I had, so I actually probably just made too much. So we're just gonna cut this into little bricks. 